We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. Ha! How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, I sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. some of the ground uncovered here. Let's look down this way. Hmm. The wind's died down, too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. Has <sighs> deer been here recently? How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. 
A gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. I think so. Maybe not. Focus. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Good shot. Now let's try for another. That's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Come on then, let's head back. Ha! Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him! <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. Oh, watch it. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. 
He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. We must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still <laughs> wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Yeah! How's that new horse? He's all right. It'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Hug me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Run some food back, boys! Easy. It's next to mine. We don't want him running off. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down! 
What a surprise. I found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. You'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you get dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> it's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah, and you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea, we're living. Look at me. We're living, even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Listen up, all of you, according to the information 
route so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Hey, have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. Easy. We go back when I say. We go back, and that's the end of it. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa! How you getting on? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. 
Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here and minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. It was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five. opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. 
Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good Here enough. Go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Ha. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices. I think I got them. Nice. Thank God. Come on. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move! We won't tell a soul, I swear! Said quick. For Lord's sake, put that book away and go help. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. 
We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't well, say less. <gasps> Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. 
So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck, east of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, 
Then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> My boy, my dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. I'm the fella tied to the tree, so. I guess I must be. Yeah, I've met some of your boys before. Oh, yeah? You must be hungry. Like you wouldn't believe. Well, I'll leave this here then. In the dirt. Where those other O'Driscolls left my husband. Oh. oh. Yep. <laughs>
I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens round here without an Odrisco saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning. You really should rile me. Ain't wise. You would be me! A Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Hey! Oh, hey! What the hell? Get your hands oh, off him! I didn't say a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me. They are damn fools! Come on! Yeah, big, tough. Oh my god, you killed him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Hey, you! Get back here! Damn it, Reverend! You better stay away from me! me. Stop, damn it! 
Yep. Okay, okay. I, I Please, won't tell don't hurt me. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing. <sighs> now what? Where's Reverend? Mistake, you can still be safe. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. I want to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... I was wondering when he'd show up. How you doing? <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just usual. Poor <coughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Hey, 
Scheiße! Jose? You wanna go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. If there's a decent dealer there, we'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, boy. Let's go. Easy, big fella. All right. Let's head into town. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Easy. Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, okay, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. How you doing, friend? There, boy. Stables are just up ahead. I never forget things. This is the first time. Here. All right, go sell that big brute. And buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I sure you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well... With some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Let's go, boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. the other side. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right.
Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <laughs> you want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. I'm Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. What's up? Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, Maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Oh. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went?
tracks go into those trees. Wait a minute. There's something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. <laughs> we lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. 
He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. Whoa! 